Thanks for considering joining my session. In that session, we'll look at the comparison between um, SAML single sign-on that ships with data center from Atlassian out of the box and our SAML single sign-on plugin um, that you can purchase at an additional fee. Obviously, you might ask yourself, why should I pay for a feature that ships already? And that's a really good question. And I think um, we've got quite a few good answers. The more complex, the more enterprise ready, the more advanced your customer is, uh, you very likely run into situations where the data center SAML um, is just not enough, doesn't give you enough features or doesn't solve the problems it solves in an enterprise ready way enough um, so that our solution can be a better choice for your customer. And that's really what we're going to talk about in those 45 minutes um, to see, to explain you sort of the major differences. We can't go into all of them, even 45 minutes are not enough, but you get an idea what kind of customers will benefit from using our plugins and what the typical challenges are those customers face. Just to pick one example, uh, attribute transformation is a very common one, so that the um, attributes that get sent from the IDP um, are different than um, the usernames um, or what you need in, in Jira. So we have um, tons of ways like regular expressions, like templates to apply, uh, or even to write your own groovy code um, to modify um, those attributes in the way you need it, that you can use them um, in, uh, in Jira, Confluence, etc. Um, user synchronization, uh, true user synchronization with Azure AD, with Okta, and um, many others um, are another situation, for example, and there's lots more. So if any of that interests you and you want to serve your customer well and give him the best recommendation, then please join my session.